What is up guys, Gamer that sucks here and today I'm going to show you on how to get the Barbarian set. Now the first place that you need to go to is right here on the map. I'm just going to give you a zoom out and then also a zoom in of the location. It's close to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. And once you're here, you, what you want to do is you want to jump off the ledge and start your, making your way towards the maze. Now you want to aim towards the door. And if you don't have a lot of stamina, you might cut it close and you might fall. If that happens to you, what I recommend you to do is have some stamina food in order for you to eat it midway so you can restore your stamina and make it to the door. Now, once you get there, you are going to have to do a maze in order for you to get to a specific shrine. So we're just going to make our way to the um, maze first and then we'll go through the maze itself. Now, I'm going to have to talk through the entire video here without leaving any sort of pause because for some reason Nintendo will copyright you even if you have the tiniest little bit of music by itself without any other sort of audio going over it. So yeah. So once you land on the island maze or whatever what you want to do is you want to go towards the left of the maze just keep in mind that there's going to be a guardian nearby so just make sure you avoid him because he's he's really tough to beat if you know how to beat him then go ahead but i just like avoiding the guardians in the first place so just make your way all the way to the left side and once you reach the end you're going to see a small little opening in which you want to go to once you go through there you're going to see a little uh, box and just go to the right and then just keep going straight here and take another right now here I reached a dead end just turn around and you'll keep going straight and just make your way to the left and then go to the left here again left again and then right and then right and then on the left side you'll see an opening with two torches and a ladder just climb up the ladder and on the left side, you're going to see a, la a, a few set of stairs. Keep going up the stairs and you'll reach the shrine. So just keep going up the stairs. And there's another set of stairs here. Now there's going to be some bats. You can just ignore them. You don't have to do anything to them. And then you're going to keep seeing the staircases. And once you reach the final staircase here, the shrine is going to be on your right side. When you enter the shrine, there's going to be a chest right in front of you. And that's going to be the first piece of the Barbarian outfit set. So yeah, it's not that hard. And there's no other chest in this temple or shrine, whatever. So you don't have to worry about exploring the shrine. Just talk to the um, person that's at the end there and you'll get your first spirit orb in the shrine. All right, so after getting the spirit orb from this shrine, we're going to move on to the next location here to get the legs of the barbarian armor. Now, this location here is located in a snowy area, so have some warm food. And it's located in this side of the map here. It's going to be another maze that we're going to have to go through, but this one's a lot easier. Just get to the point where I'm currently at right now or a high point in which you can jump off and glide. And as you can see here, I'm just showing you a more zoom out version and then a zoomed in version for you to see exactly where I'm at. Once you jump, just make your, make your way towards the maze and try to land on top of the maze. If you have as much stamina as I do, as I do you'll have a lot of stamina left over for you to get to the top side. And once you reach the top side, we're just going to make our way from the top of the maze to get to the point that we need to get to. You don't have to go through the maze like we just did here before. Okay, so now that we're getting close to the maze here, um, just try to follow the way that I go because it's a lot easier that way. It's hard to explain on what to do at the top side, so... Just follow exactly where I am right now. And once you're here, just keep walking towards where I'm walking. And you can actually jump each gap and climb the walls of the maze. So don't worry about, you know, potentially falling or anything like that. 
Now, once you reach here, you're going to see at the bottom that there are the two torches and just jump down and you're going to see the ladder in which you can climb. And here's a zoomed in version of the maze so you can see exactly where it is. So once you reach the bottom, like I said, just climb the ladder and then you'll get a small little cutscene telling you that you'll be blessed if you find a shrine. So all you need to do is just go straight on the platform. On the left side, there'll be staircases. And then there's gonna be a plat there's gonna be a bunch of platforms. And all you need to do is just jump off that platform and you'll see that the shrine is right underneath you. So just go in the shrine and it's gonna be the same thing. Once you enter the shrine, there's gonna be a chest. The chest is gonna contain the next barbarian piece. And that's gonna be the legs. The reason why I did the legs instead of the chest right after this is because it's close to the area of the headpiece. So, you know, you can just do one. So you can travel from that place to, the, to this place and it's not harder because the, the chest piece is far away from these two places. So that's why I'm bringing you here second instead of last. Okay, so like I said here, once you enter the shrine, just get the chest and you'll get the legs and the legs will give you the um, benefit of the barbarian set as well so once you get that just talk to the person at the shrine and you'll get your next spirit orb as well All right, so the next area here is also located in a snowy, a snowy area as well. So just have some uh, warm food so you don't freeze to death. But yeah, um, once you get here, here is the location of the map. It's close to the Gerudo area. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And here is a close up um, area of exactly where it is. And we're going to have to go through another base. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the last maze. We're just going to fly over it and get to a certain section in which we can reach the shrine very easily. So here we're just going to glide over the maze and you need to land to a specific side of the maze here in order for you to reach the um, area correctly. So just try to follow exactly what I do here. If you do have enough stamina, you can do this really easily. If you don't have a lot of stamina, it might be hard. So just make sure you have some stamina food just in case. Okay, so you want to land exactly on this spot right here. And when you land on this spot right here, you'll get the next sort of cutscene here telling you that you'll get a reward once you reach the labyrinth's end. And then here, all you need to do is just go to the right. And then you'll see two torches. Just jump down and you'll reach the shrine. So same things are going to apply here when you reach the shrine. You're going to see the chest here. And this is the last piece to it. And this is the chest piece to the barbarian outfit. Once you get it. Just make sure you speak to the person at the shrine to get your spirit orb. And that's it. You've now completed the barbarian outfit. For this specific outfit, you'll get the attack bonus. So you can hit enemies a lot harder. And that's pretty much it. So if you do have any other sort of requests for any sort of outfit, just let me know. And see you guys next time. I'm going to have to keep talking till this ends, so <laughs> goodbye.